what is the aurora borealis what is its significance does it only happen in the northern region or anywhere else right so the aurora borealis is the northern lights there is something called the aurora australis which is the southern lights which happens near the south pole now what exactly is this so it's a uh, it's what you observe in the night sky you have these curtains and shimmering sheets of light usually they are greenish pale greenish or 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 pale pink in color and these are waving light uh, light uh, sheets or or streamers of light and sometimes you have different colors you have purple uh, you have blue as well sometimes it's white so what exactly is this is the question so these auroras they begin in the sun so the sun has something called and well the sun itself has an atmosphere and the atmosphere is and the sun has a very powerful magnetic field which causes these big loops that are called uh solar prominences so these are big loops of gas that go out of the uh, sun's corona and come back inside so these are magnetic field lines which cause these big gas loops and sometimes the magnetic field lines pinch off and this results in a big coronal mass ejection which is a big explosion kind of or ejection of solar gas highly intense highly uh, very hot gas of plasma essentially charged particles that are ejected out of the sun and there is this constant solar wind that's coming out of the sun and when this solar wind which is the highly energetic charged particles plasma when this solar wind interacts with the magnetic field of the earth that's when you have this uh, phenomenon which is the aurora borealis or the aurora australis so the magnetic field of the earth is kind of you could you could consider it to be kind of weak near the poles near the north pole and the south pole and that's where these charged particles are able to uh, to basically enter the atmosphere and and interact with the gas of the atmosphere so it is the interaction of these particles with oxygen at various uh, temp- at various uh, altitudes and various pressures that causes these different colors and it's also not just os- oxygen it's also nitrogen that uh, that reacts with these charged particles so it is the uh, reaction or the interaction of these charged particles with oxygen and nitrogen at various altitudes and various pressures that causes these different colors and these light shows that we observe near the poles so that is basically what uh, aurora is and the earth is not the only planet that has auroras we have observed auroras on saturn as well and i think on other planets as well so it's something that occurs wherever you have gas and wherever this gas inter- is able to interact with the solar wind because of the uh, because the magnetic field of these planets planets is the weakest near the poles so that is what an aurora is that is the significance it is the interaction of the solar wind with the atmosphere with the gases in the atmosphere of the earth